Hello guys, and uh, welcome to my review of Natsume Zoku. My name's Aiden, if you are unfamiliar with me. Um, we are a weeb variety channel, we do full length anime reactions, and we recently finished uh, Natsume Zoku, so just some general thoughts on uh, the season finale of season two, or, or I guess just, just season two not the season finale also uh as said uh if you are interested in watching full-length reactions of uh both season one and season two it is on the channel along with a review of season one um but no i loved it <laughs> i do love it um i love season one and i love season two i enjoyed that they stuck with the episodic format and tweaked it a little bit with uh adding some two episode arts two two episode arts and they kind of shifted more to scarier yokai, I would say. Like, obviously, there's a good variety in both seasons, but I would say season one was more, uh, there are a lot more, like, love stories, chill ones, but this one we had, I, I would say, a more, like, powerful and some spooky designs, um... So like a little like majority change, but it's still it's still had you know romance stuff with uh with uh the the yokai and the painting that was that was a good one. I'm actually a fan of the romance stories. I I think they're like Pete Natsume, but I did enjoy the horror aspects to uh and just the the stronger yokai stuff it was pretty interesting too. Um, but no, I mean. I think they took a lot of this, a lot of the strengths from the first season. I always thought Natsume was good at showing uh, the episodes that like, had a wide range of emotions. From there's, you know, some fun parts, some uh, very dramatic and sad parts, and um, some spooky parts sometimes. But the fun parts were super funny. Um, again, all the characters we did get a lot of the 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 recurring cast. Obviously, Natsume and Nienko are the stars of the show. Um, not a lot of Sasada this season. I'm hoping for some more of her later. But I did like her. You know, season one, she had a whole episode to herself and a lot more to do. In this one, she she was barely in it. But Tanama probably occurred as much as he did in season one. The two friends whose names I can't remember always have a lot of stream time. We got Taki. She's a new recurring character. Um, uh, Sana... Uh, Sasada's rival. Um, I'm still cheering for Sasada, but it, it's kind of tough. <laughs> it's a it's a tough bid to bid against uh, Taki, and of course uh, Natori, who I keep calling Norita for like no reason. Um, he appeared a lot, man. Man got like four episodes where he appeared in. Um, AK like Natsume, basically Natsume in a different timeline. If he uh, if he decided to just hate yokai. <laughs> Um, but no, characters are always great. Some fun side characters, um, and I always say it's kind of hard to do this in episodic shows, where, and by episodic I mean plot changes every episode to, like, singular arts instead of where anime, you know, a season or half a season might be, uh, based on one arc. Um, an episodic, you get more variety, but you also have to make those arts like really stand out because you lose the time of um you lose the time of um time you get to develop stuff right because in like normal anime you have a couple episodes in episodic well you do have this variety where it's never really dull you need you need strong characters that can last for a good a good like 20 minutes <laughs> so um and i think that's me it's honestly it, it hits it's a it hits the head on the nail. The yokai adds a little spice to this uh, drama slice of life. Um, it helps with Natsume's character, you know? The struggle of finding balance between hum humans and yokai, stuff like that. They really hammered that in the last episode. Um, you know, improving his relationships with humans and yokai. And I, I just find yokai fascinating. <laughs> the lore, the designs, how different it is from American ghosts. Just the creativity is always nice. Um, soundtrack bopped, of course. I actually, I said this in my reactions. I do think both the opening and ending are uh, 
I liked it better. I liked it better than season one. I actually have a fun uh, anime opening tier list on the channel where I uh, rank all the anime reaction openings I've seen. Or, how do you say it? Like, anime I've reacted to on the channel. I did all their openings. And even though I... It was a tough batch because I, I enjoyed season one Natsumi. But, um... It was, like, on the bottom of the tier list, just as there's so many, so many good ones. Uh, but this was before we did Zoku, so, um, if Zoku was on that list, it would probably be, like, in the middle. And, and you know, it's competing against, like, heavy hitters, in my opinion, like, uh, Violet Evergarden's opening, and Your Lion April's opening, and Hidrashi Go's opening, like, th there's a lot of bangers there, man, um... But no, I definitely vibe with it. I loved both of them. They always have like it was the same in season one. The the vibe between opening and ending are pretty different, but can kind of compare at least the ending of season one to season two's more somber goodbye vibe where the first opening it gets you hype not in like a heavy heavy way, but but in a nice way. It's good. It is good. Um. I think, in general, I, yeah, yeah, in general, I like this season a bit better. Um, hopefully the trend keeps going upward, but if it stays at this, like, I, I said this in season one, and uh, it, it's kind of coming true. If, if all seasons have, like, this level of quality, this might be, like, one of the best animes I've seen. It's just, or, I should say, one of the best, I mean, one of the best animes I've seen, but, like, in in terms of episodic slice of life, this this might be just this might be it, boys. This might be what peak 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 genre looks like because it is fantastic. Uh, what what was your least favorite episode? I don't know. I, I feel that, and that's the thing with with episodic. Um, you usually see this divide between good and bad episodes for a lot, but for Na for Natsumi, I would say I enjoyed literally all of the episodes this season. I think maybe the weakest episode, in my opinion, was probably the mermaid episode. And even then, I still enjoyed it because I really loved the mermaid's design. I liked how one of the characters' names was Keichi because I'm a Hidorashi enjoyer. But, um... But, you know, just, just the... The thematics and plot they went with is uh felt pretty similar to other stuff but even then even though that was probably my least favorite episode it was still a good episode which just shows you the quality of this series and i just wish uh more people reacted to the series just some somebody commented like oh a rare natsume reactor and i'm like really like how is this possible i'm also like watching planetes at the moment which is you know in the anime community, I hear it being repped a lot. Like, I even heard people put it on, like, Cowboy Bebop level of rep. Um, and I would agree. I, I think Planetas is amazing. And also, people don't react to it. People gotta, like... They just gotta, like, watch some good stuff, man. No, I'm joking. I'm, jo I'm joking. It's, it sounded like I was dissing, but... um, There are some gems that I wouldn't even... Like, that to me is not a hidden gem. There are a lot of people who liked it. It's just not, uh... Not mainstream. Like, anime is becoming mainstream with a lot of and when an anime hits mainstream it becomes giga popular like like before before like anime has always been like trending up in popularity but um but now i feel like um what what, what am i trying to say replay me because we're <laughs> just play the play the ed again um like, when an anime is giga popular, it definitely overshadows, like, just the popular anime. Because back in, like, this is a popular anime, but can you really compare it to, like, the top shonen nowadays? Like, maybe in Japan you can, but not not around the world. I mean, I'm just saying it doesn't have that global pull that would uh, attract other people to watch it. And, you know, obviously, I think, uh, in terms of, like, any piece of media... Usually action-y stuff is, or anything with fighting is probably more attractive generally than uh, dramas. But, but, I mean, that's a, it's a bold statement. I think dramas kind of pop off, but the crowd is very different. <laughs> um, but no, this is, basically I'm just, 
saying people should watch some of, some of the other good anime too. There's a lot, man. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, I'm so happy I jumped into uh, this anime though. It, it it's a great journey, man. I'm you, when, when you see that like six or seven season list, you're like, oh my god, dude. But no, I, I, I I'm tempted just to go through it all, but we we take breaks in between. Um, we talked we talked about least favorite episode. Let's talk about favorite. Let me pull up the episode list. This is a little hard, honestly. Episode one was Lord, aka with the black Nienko. Episode two was with the snow, snow bunny things. Episode three was oh hot spring with the boys. A chick hatches was tiny dragon. Promise tree was kid who wanted to see the ocean, maiden circle, and that which you must not call was the Taki introduction arc. Emotions Undying was Mermaid, He the Rope Cherry Blossoms with the Love Story, um, Temporary House, oh, was the Dumby, <laughs> the Dumby episode, Assembly of the Witch Doctors was Huge Head Man, and the last arc was the God arc, um, man, it's so hard, according to my anime list, yo, according to my anime list, the Mermaid episode is rated the lowest, see? I knew it. And the top rated episode is Temporary House, the Gumby episode. Interesting. It was very creepy. I think on the horror aspect, it was definitely the best one, for sure. And I think, because season one, again, I, I, I'm hammering this point down, but there was a lot of, like, fun, lovey yokai. Uh, showing the horror aspect, highlighting it a bit more is fun, too. Hmm... It's hard to say. I actually don't know. Maybe it is the Gumby episode. I loved I loved uh, episode nine. He of the Rove Cherry Blossoms, the the love story. <laughs> Even though I just said we need spooky stuff. I'm I'm a sucker for the uh, love stories. In season one, my favorite episodes were both uh, the Firefly Yokai love story and the the Swallow Bird Burb the Swallow Burb uh Yokai. That shit was good, man. So yeah, I'm a love story enjoyer, but see, just just seeing this cat a lot, it's like man, all of these are so good, and emotions, every, all of them are so good, and emotions on dying is like pretty good. <laughs> um, but it just makes me excited for next season. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard because all my compliments are like pretty comparable to a uh, my season one review. So I'm just I'm kind of stalling. I'm kind of stalling and just bantering a little about it, but. Yeah, great series. <laughs> it's great. If you haven't watched this and you're watching the review, please give it a try. You'll you'll love it. Well, maybe. If you like slice of life stuff, if you like yokai, then you'll probably like it. And I, when I say slice of life, it's not like there isn't any action. There's definitely action. Um, there's no like dragon ball fights, but there's uh, there's some intense shit, for sure. Um, yeah, I would I would definitely recommend it to everyone. And, okay, something I can say. There was some cool, uh, cool direction used. Like, directive stuff. Like, stylish stuff is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if they, I don't remember if they did that in season one, but they did some perspective stuff. The, the mid, the mid screens were better. In, in season one, the mid screens were all the same. In season two, um, they were, they were different every episode. The little, little details, right? <laughs> but yeah. Love this series. Uh, thank you for checking out this review. If you have any other questions, since I was just kind of talking generally, uh, feel free to comment them. I'll respond to anything. Uh, any questions related to the series. And yeah, thank you for watching. Again, if you are interested in the reactions that are on the channel, and, you know, sub for uh, more Natsume talk in the future, because have a lot to go through or any other anime stuff you might find um but yeah i'm gonna be watching planet in the main slot we're moving it from bonus to main because i'm just removing the bonus anime slot and then probably after that i'll probably watch season three of natsumi so soon soon we'll start again in like uh, a month or two <laughs> should be good but yeah thanks for watching hopefully i'll see you in the future peace